Hello, everybody, all at once. Um, of course, as nonviolent president, I feel incumbent upon me to weigh in on the Bernie Sanders. Um, I don't even know how to describe this level of historic debacle um, or really unforeseen reversal. Um, <clears throat> so, personally, I want to talk today about the fact that Bernie's. Sanders has apparently endorsed Hillary Clinton for president, which I, I could not, never have foreseen. Honestly, I really can't imagine that this is actually happening. And my state of shock goes beyond um, normal bounds at this point. I feel we're in a realm of free fall in our republic where the director of the FBI has essentially declared the rule of law, federal law, null and void when it comes to Hillary Clinton, any other federal employee would have been absolutely put into jail for the level of um, violations of the Espionage Act that she engaged in. No doubt. We're in a level of de free fall in our democracy right now that is um, epic, unprecedented, um, and... I'll just have to say from a personal level how sh I was so shocked and so hurt personally, personally, really um, disappointed and hurt and shocked and yeah, this is a test of my um, awakening. This is the kind of thing that would have certainly caused me to feel collapsed, you know, before the loss of the ego self-contraction. And But I've been, I would say, just a little bit depressed in some sense, not collapsed the way I used to be, not suffering, but like, um, just having thoughts of like, maybe I should go to the fifth dimension, and this third dimensional stuff is, is getting so, s just shriekingly into cognitive dissonance at this point. Um, I mean, here's the baseline emotion. Bernie Sanders betrayed the people. Bernie Sanders betrayed us. And if you're a thumbs up for Hillary Clinton and the Democratic Party, then you're a thumbs up for corruption and evil and endless war, total war, and an unapologetic, unreconstructed, almost grotesque form of corruption within the Democratic Party resulting in voter fraud and voter suppression. So honestly, I was expecting Bernie Sanders in the last three weeks to have gone on a new crusade entirely dedicated to voter fraud and voter suppression. That's the issue of the day. He's already won the election. He doesn't need to kowtow to um, <clears throat> the poontang of World War III, i.e. Hillary Clinton. World War III on runaway sticks? No. She is so obviously a grotesque of history's ultimate failures. How could Bernie Sanders, after having been a stalwart of the best progressive values that you could imagine having in our current system for 30 years, suddenly do an about-face, what I consider a bait-and-switch, saying, I will lead the grassroots, get me in the White House, and then we'll have an egalitarian reformation of this great U.S. of A. Get back to our constitutional republic, do all the right things, you know, get rid of the Fed, and restore our constitutional republic. And things far beyond that <clears throat> that have to do with a parallel talk I'm going to give about the five layers of the media and that there's five vibrational levels in the media and you have to read all five if you really want to have the big picture. <laughs> but right now I'm just going to stay focused on the shock and the horror and the betrayal and the infamy of Bernie Sanders uh, declaring she's for Hillary Clinton? She's the poster child for the ultimate corruption. She even takes the, the Bush crime family corruption to some other logarithmically expanded level. And she's visibly corrupt. And her statements about Iran are an atrocity. That she's going to obliterate Iran of ha 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 ha. No. To all this, the emperor has no clothes. Bernie Sanders, the emperor has no clothes. The Democratic Party is corruption beyond corrupt because they are complicit in Lyndon Baines Johnson's assassination of John F. Kennedy. All Democrats, 
that LBJ killing JFK is the ultimate conspiracy until 9-11. But the Democratic Party is at the heart of that ultimate conspiracy and has not owned up to that. You can't even say that we're not in a parade of people like Obama and Biden who are war criminals for the CIA drone assassination campaign and Libya and other things. It's a parade of corruption and war crime. America is rife with corruption at the highest level. And we're only just beginning to peel back this onion. Thank God for the Bernie Sanders campaign until he became a turncoat. Thank God for the Black Lives Matters campaign. Thank God for the Occupy Wall Street campaign. Thank God. It's the grassroots, as you people know, that's going to heal all this informed by Adida, Prior Unity, and the Global Cooperative Forum. And I'm going to get you back to what I consider baseline principles because we've been so betrayed. And you may wonder who you can trust. And that's part of the feelings I had afterwards. I mean, I know who I can trust. And through all this mesmerically defamatory insanity that's going on in terms of Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren endorsing Hillary, World War III Clinton, height of insanity, unbelievable, mind-shrieking cognitive dissonance insanity, and heartache and heartbreak and disappointment and betrayal in the most baseline way. You don't raise the grassroots consciousness of this country and all the best progressive elements that we've got so far and raise it into a mighty movement and then suddenly turn around and say, oh, the Democratic Party, Hillary Clinton's A-OK. -okay. And I'm just going to give the movement over to this vulture squad of, of satanic materialist oligarchs that are still involved, but I, you know, my fifth and fourth level communications inform me that things are not as they appear now in our republic. But again, that's a parallel discussion. So there's meta considerations to be had about what's really going on, that it's not about Hillary. It's not about Bernie. There's bigger things going on. Nevertheless, I'm holding Bernie Sanders to account. You, Bernie Sanders, personally, me, Theo Cedar Jones, am holding you personally, Bernie Sanders, to account. You betrayed me, you betrayed the people, you betrayed all the progressive movements nascent on this planet with what you did. Who can we trust? Not big-time leaders of the party. Fuck the Democratic Party. For now, all our energy should be going into disseminating the book not to his peace, informing the public and educating and elevating their consciousness about real politics, which is based on the new consciousness, which is prior unity and egolessness, and the Global Cooperative Forum. That's who I trust. But those are principles that we're still in the laboratory with. We don't have institutions of these yet. So I feel very naked and vulnerable in the fact that my efforts to get the Global Cooperative Forum <coughs> have resulted in this scant weekly meeting and these annual webinar events and a few handfuls of dozens of people who seem to care and flake in or out of the movement depending on their whims. The movement meaning the Global Cooperative Forum. So, dear grassroots progressives of the planet, people who care, people who want togetherness for real, you have to get with the source that is pure and clean and will not betray you and will not do a bait and switch like Bernie Sanders did on you all. And that's Adi Da, the only trustable source. And your grassroots movement that is non self betrayable. We must make a movement whereby no one individual can betray the movement and therefore cause it to stop where we are all beholden to each other equally as the leaders. We are all co-equal leaders in a new consciousness-based political system. I'm calling you guys to create this together. Read not to his peace and let's do the Global Cooperative Forum. That's the answer 
and hitch your wagon to the star of Adi Da. Just at, on a personal level, acquaint yourself with him because you're going to go through the most radical transformations and you need the reality based wisdom revelation that is already <clears throat> not a problem, already in equanimity, already at the seventh stage realization, which is unconditional divine samadhi all the time, regardless of world events and the vast, heinous betrayals of the likes of Bernie Sanders. <laughs>